Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Dominion video. Hope you guys are having a good day, and if you're not, well, I hope it gets better as you're here with me. And also, I just want to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button before we continue and stuff, and join the hunt, and like this video as well. And now with that, we can get back to the video. So today we're going to be discussing the IMAX trailer for Jurassic World Dominion 5 minute preview that will be coming with Fast 9, because the trailer, the little trailer had come out. It's a 15 second one, but it reveals a lot, including some of the dinosaurs that will be appearing in it. Well, we all know what dinosaurs were appearing, but we finally have a good look at them, including the Ankylosaurus, which looks very similar to the, um, regular one, with some differences, of course, and we get to see an Iguanodon, I believe it is, which I think it is, because it was mentioned to be in the clip. We get, of course, the Moros Intrepidus, which is feeding off the Giga's teeth, and it looks stunning with those feathers. Now, it's the only one with feathers that we get to see in the scene, so we don't, un unfortunately, we don't get to see the Oviraptor, which is a little bit unfortunate, but Hey, we'll see it when we when this comes out for us to see. And of course, we get the Quetzalcoatlus, which looks, oh my god, it is stunning. That shot of it in the at the water, and if you didn't realize, the birds in the background, guys, are actually confirmed to be pteranodons. Which remember how they how big they were compared to people? Yeah, look at them beside this guy. It's amazing. They look like tiny little birds and it's gonna be beautiful. The Quetza is stunning. And of course, we can't talk about this without the reveal for the first time of the Giganotosaurus, which, oh my God, this thing is a beast. Like, I gotta be honest, the, the shot of it charging at the T-Rex, well, the prehistoric T-Rex, not Rexy, guys, don't worry. But that shot, oh my God, it makes the Spinosaurus and Indominus Rex, which were both bigger than the T-Rexes they faced, it makes it look, they they look tiny in comparison to this Giga. Like, he's bigger than the T-Rex, he's chunkier than the T-Rex, longer, and as we can see from the last shot of the trailer where he smashes into the Rex, he's stronger, and it's beautiful. I, I was worried about how the Giga would look compared to like, other dinosaurs because like we've seen certain designs in the past like the evolution one which i know not many people are a fan of but i personally am i especially love the roar of that version but looking at this giga he looks like a foe for rexy for sure which we know that we know it's gonna happen guys we know that rexy will take on the um giga of the future because well they wouldn't tease us with this if not for that and now I will say though, the T-Rex in this shot does look a bit smaller than I was hoping for, because like if you look at it, it's thinner and stuff, which this could be the case of it being like a younger T-Rex, which would make sense. So Rexy died very young in the prehistoric times, but um, yeah, it is stunning. And the feathered Rex, I wasn't too thrilled to hear that they would have um, a feathered T-Rex because if you look at um, what some paleontologists are saying today, they say that it probably didn't have feathers. Some say it did. And it's an ongoing debate. And especially because, well, the only evidence to T-Rex currently having feathers is that other Tyrannosaurids did, like Moros Intrepidus. But anyway, I'm not, I can't be mad with this design. It's beautiful. And oh my God, I'm so excited to see this hopefully. And don't worry guys, I will not be spoiling anything from it when I do see it, because I don't want to ruin it for you guys who aren't able to see it. I, I think you guys would rather wait to see it when the movie comes out than have it spoiled for you. Like me, if I'm unable to see it, but luckily, I will be going to see it, guys. But that's all we're going to talk about. I just wanted to get this off my plate and talk about the stunning dinosaurs. Which one is your guys' favorite, to be honest, guys? Um... Mine is either the Giga or the Quetzal for sure. Like, that Quetzal shot is gorgeous, stunning. But the Giga there just looks 
he, he looks like a beast. He looks like a real enemy of the T-Rex. Like Spino, he doesn't have the intimidation that this Giga obviously has. And, but the, I, I don't know guys, this Giga, he is, he, he's awesome. And I cannot wait to see what else he gets to do in the movie. Cause we know this isn't gonna be his only scene. We know he's gonna appear with characters like Alan Grant or Ian Malcolm and stuff. We know that's gonna happen, and I cannot wait to see what terrifying things this beast does. But if you've enjoyed this small video, I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye Jurassic World Dominion. Experience a special extended preview only on F9 and IMAX.